radiocarbon of Egyptian artifacts shows serious contradictions. We shall once again consider the alleged reliability of the radiocarbon method used for supporting the traditional version of the ancient history, particularly Egyptian, as reflected in a fundamental and detailed article published by the Manchester Museum in England in 1979 as part of the project named The Mummies of the Manchester Museum. The radiocarbon dating of the mummy from the Manchester Museum collection attributed the mummy's bones to 1000 BC. Whereas the cloth that the mummy has been wrapped in received the dating of 380 AD. The discrepancy between the datings of the mummy and the cloth equals some 1400 years, although the dates should be equal. The cloth may be somewhat older than the mummy if an old cloth had been used by the embalmers. But it couldn't possibly have belonged to a later age. The reports of the radiocarbon dating of one of the most famous Christian holy objects, the Shroud of Turin, caused a great resonance in 1988. According to the tradition, this piece of cloth bears the image of the body of crucified Christ and dates from the 1st century AD, which is supposed to make it about 2,000 years old. However, radiocarbon datings have given a different dating, roughly 11th to 13th century AD. The radiocarbon analysis has been conducted in three laboratories, in Oxford and Arizona University, and the Swiss Technological Institute in Zurich. A scientific work specifically dedicated to the radiocarbon dating of the Shroud of Turin claims the linen fabric that the Shroud is made of to be produced between 1050 and 1350 AD. The result of the Shroud's radiocarbon analysis performed in the laboratory of the Oxford University is 1050 AD. The laboratories of Arizona and Zurich have given more recent datings, 1304 and 1274 respectively. In the matter of independent dating of historical Jesus Christ we can choose. Radiocarbon dating is true, but the Shroud of Turin is a medieval fake because it conflicts with consensual time frame for historical Jesus Christ. And we do not have independent dating of historical Jesus Christ. Radiocarbon dating is untrue, the Shroud of Turin is a true relic and Jesus Christ lived in 1st century AD. Radiocarbon dating is 100% correct, so the Shroud of Turin is a true medieval relic. But consensual time frame for historical Jesus Christ is utterly wrong. Therefore we have independent dating of historical Jesus Christ within the time frame of 1050 to 1304 AD. It has to be noted that this time frame fits perfectly with the new chronology theory of Professor Anatoly Fomenko, leading mathematician of our time, albeit he himself strongly refutes very use of radiocarbon dating for dating of historical artifacts. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.